Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Numbers chapter 10, beginning at verse 11 and ending at verse 36. This is the English Standard Version. Israel leaves Sinai. In the second year, in the second month, on the twentieth day of the month, the cloud lifted from over the tabernacle of the testimony, and the people of Israel set out by stages from the wilderness of Sinai, and the cloud settled down in the wilderness of Paran. They set out for the first time at the command of the Lord by Moses, the standard of the camp of the people of Judah, set out first by their companies, and over their company was Nashon, the son of Amminadab, and over the company of the tribe of the people of Issachar was Nethaniel, the son of Zuar, and over the company of the tribe of the people of Zebulun was Eliab, the son of Helon. And when the tabernacle was taken down, the sons of Gershon and the sons of Merari, who carried the tabernacle, set out. And the standard of the camp of Reuben set out by their companies, and over their company was Elizer, the son of Shadur. And over the company of the tribe of the people of Simeon was Shelemiel, the son of Zerishaddai. And over the company of the tribe of the people of Gad was Eliasaph, the son of Duel. Then the Kohathites set out, carrying the holy things, and the tabernacle was set up before their arrival. And the standard of the camp of the people of Ephraim set out by their companies, and over their company was Elishama, the son of Amihud. And over the company of the tribe of the people of Manasseh was Gamaliel, the son of Pedazer. And over the company of the tribe of the people of Benjamin was Abidan, the son of Gideoni. Then the standard of the camp of the people of Dan, acting as the rear guard of all the camps, set out by their companies. And over their company was Ahizer, the son of Amishadai. And over the company of the tribe of the people of Asher was Pagiel, the son of Akron. And over the company of the tribe of the people of Naphtali was Ahira, the son of Enan. This was the order of march of the people of Israel by their companies when they set out. And Moses said to Hobab, the son of Reuel, the Midianite, Moses' father-in-law, We are setting out for the place of which the Lord said, I will give it to you. Come with us and we will do good to you. For the Lord has promised good to Israel. But he said to him, I will not go. I will depart to my own land and to my kindred. And he said, Please do not leave us, for you know where we should camp in the wilderness, and you will serve as eyes for us. And if you do go with us, whatever good the Lord will do to us, the same will we do to you. So they set out from the mount of the Lord three days' journey, and the ark of the covenant of the Lord went before them three days' journey to seek out a resting place for them. And the cloud of the Lord was over them by day whenever they set out from the camp. And whenever the ark set out, Moses said, Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those who hate you flee before you. And when it rested, he said, Return, O Lord, to the ten thousand thousands of Israel. The end. God bless you, and thank you for joining me today.